How do the British royals fit into the modern world, particularly in events like the BAFTA Awards? It's an intriguing question, isn't it? Picture this, a glitzy night of cinematic celebration at the BAFTA Awards. The lights, the applause, the anticipation. Amidst it all, a royal presence, Prince William, the Prince of Wales. He's flying solo with Duchess Kate recuperating at home. As the honorary president of BAFTA, his appearance is both expected and eagerly anticipated. Yet, the intrigue doesn't stop there. His last minute confirmation and admission of not having seen many of the nominated films adds a layer of mystique. His interactions with the industry's bright young talents, captured and shared across the digital world, spark discussions about the nature of these encounters. Are they awkward or are they charming? It's a question that continues to echo. Let's explore this intriguing question by examining the events of that particular night. The BAFTA night began with anticipation, with Prince William's appearance garnering curiosity. As the honorary president of BAFTA, the Prince of Wales stepped into the Royal Festival Hall, a solo figure amidst a constellation of the film industry's rising stars. The night was not just a celebration of cinematic achievements, but also an unfolding story of royal engagement with the world of film. The Prince's interactions with the industry's bright talents were a highlight of the evening. Ayo Edebiri, Phoebe Dynavor, Sophie Wilde, and Mia McKenna-Bruce all had their moments with the royal sparking conversations and raising a few eyebrows. Yet, this was no ordinary meet and greet. With each interaction, there was a palpable sense of curiosity a hint of awkwardness and a dash of intrigue that was hard to ignore. The reactions captured on camera told a tale that was far from the usual royal charm offensive. Instead of starstruck admiration, there were mixed emotions, a blend of surprise and bemusement. The narrative of Prince William, the hunk and the hot single dad, seemed to clash with the evening's reality underscoring the complexities of royal participation in public events. The Prince's attempts at humor and camaraderie, his admission of not having seen many of the nominated films, only added to the unfolding narrative. These moments highlighted a disconnect, not just with the cinema world, but perhaps with the younger generation of actors and attendees. As the night moved on, so did the narrative, shifting from the anticipation of the prince's attendance to reflections on the nature of these royal encounters. The evening's events served as a microcosm of the broader challenges faced by the royal family in adapting to changing societal expectations and media landscapes. The prince's charm didn't seem to have the expected effect, giving rise to more questions about the royal family's place in such events. As the curtains came down on the BAFTA night, the spotlight lingered on Prince William, leaving behind a trail of mixed reactions and a fresh set of questions about the evolving role of monarchy in contemporary culture. The evening's events highlighted a stark reality, the perceived image of Prince William versus the actual reception he received. The narrative that has been spun around the Prince of Wales in recent times paints him as a charismatic and engaging figure. A hunk, a hot single dad, a royal who, despite his lofty status, has his finger firmly on the pulse of the zeitgeist. Yet the BAFTA night painted a somewhat different picture, a canvas that was perhaps less flattering and more human. The interactions between Prince William and the young talents of the film industry were anticipated with bated breath. Yet, the reality of these encounters was a far cry from the star-stuck admiration one might expect. Instead, what unfolded were moments that seemed awkward, interactions that lacked the warmth of genuine connection. It was as though the prince, despite his best efforts, was not quite able to bridge the generational gap that separated him from the rising stars of cinema. 
His jestful comments about not having had the chance to watch the nominated films due to other commitments were met with polite laughter. Yet, these attempts at humour underscored a deeper disconnect. Not just with the world of cinema, but perhaps with the younger generation of actors and attendees. This disconnect was not merely about films or awards. It was about shared experiences, understanding, and empathy. This stark contrast between the image and the reality of Prince William raises some crucial questions about the royal family's place in contemporary society. Can the royals truly relate to the younger generation? Can they authentically connect with the changing societal and cultural landscape? Or are they destined to be figures of a bygone era, struggling to find their footing in a world that is rapidly moving forward? This disconnect raises questions about the royal family's relatability and authenticity in today's society. As the narrative around the British monarchy evolves, it is these questions that will shape its future. And the answers, perhaps, lie not in the grandeur of the BAFTAs, but in the candid, unscripted moments that reveal the true nature of those who wear the crown. William's solo appearance at the BAFTAs is a microcosm of the challenges faced by the royal family. The event encapsulates the royal family's struggles to adapt to shifting societal expectations and the rapidly evolving media landscape. In our ever-changing world, the monarchy finds itself at a unique crossroads. The BAFTAs, a celebration of cinematic achievement, became a platform for a wider discourse on authenticity and relatability. The evening's events underscored a disconnect, not only with the world of cinema, but perhaps also with the younger generation of actors and attendees. Prince William, despite his charm and attempts at camaraderie, was seen to be grappling with the complexities of royal participation in such public events. His comments about not having the chance to watch the films due to other commitments highlighted a dissonance that the royal family must address. The narrative that has been woven around William in recent times. Portraying him as a hunk and a hot single dad clashed with the reality of the evening. The mismatch between public perception and personal dynamics underscores the need for a re-evaluation of how the royals engage with public and cultural events. The royal family's endeavors to adapt to contemporary culture have been fraught with challenges. Yet, these challenges also present opportunities for growth and transformation. The evolving role of monarchy in our society is a topic that continues to generate interest and debate. The BAFTAs were a reflection of this ongoing dialogue between tradition and modernity. William's solo appearance meant to underscore royal support for the arts. Inadvertently became a focal point for discussions on the evolving role of the monarchy. As we reflect on Prince William's participation at the BAFTAs, we are left contemplating the future of the royal family in our modern world. The reflections on this event may well extend beyond the night's cinematic celebrations offering insights into the broader challenges that the world's most famous monarchy faces in a period of significant transition.